Jeremy, thank you. The sixth annual Johnson City Jazz Festival is right around the corner. It will be an event filled with live jazz performances and a fantastic lineup of performers. And here to tell us more about the event is Bill Perkins, who will be performing himself. I will. Tell me a little bit about it. Well, uh, it's a three-day festival. It's in March, March 21st through 23rd. Um, Thursday night we have four bands that are local, uh, including the ETSU Jazz Ensemble, great big band, and the uh, Tri-Cities Jazz Orchestra, which is a 17-piece jazz orchestra. Uh, they will be on the ballroom at the Carnegie Hotel. And then we have some smaller groups in Wellington's at the Carnegie Hotel. Um, my quartet with uh, saxophonist Tom Peterson, and I'm playing guitar, and we have bass and drums. Uh, and then the John City Jazz Collective, which is a whole bunch of people that get together in different formats. Um, Friday night we have a rising jazz guitar star, uh, Denon Slage Cook. He's playing with the trio, which gives him a chance to show everything he can do. Uh, super bass player John Hamer and uh, Keith Brown on drums. Um, Following that, we have Gregory Tardy. He's, he's a grandmaster of the saxophone. He's born in New Orleans. He's played with Wynton Marsalis and Joshua Redman, many big names. Um, he's got a quartet with keyboards and bass and drums. Um, Saturday night, another guitar trio, Dan Keller. Uh, he will play thousands of chords. He's okay. <laughs> master of this. And, uh, and following that, Cuban Jazz with Ileana Rose. She currently lives in Greenville, South Carolina. Uh, she grew up in Miami, she's played in California. Um, she plays piano and sings, and she is quite energetic, and she's got a quartet, okay. and that will be a spectacular finale. Sounds right up Kelly's alley right yeah, there. Yeah, <laughs> I, I love the <laughs> South Florida flair for sure. Yeah. So if you can't wait all the way until March, we do have an event this upcoming weekend. Cool opportunity at the library to hear some jazz. That's right. It's the first year we've done this. Um, we discovered that the library has a 1924 Steinway Grand Piano. And grand pianos are hard to come by in this town. <laughs> so uh, this is something we've been meaning to do for a while. And we got it together this year thanks to some of our volunteers. Um, but we have Bill Bears. Uh, he's head of the UNC Asheville Jazz Program. He's uh, taught at Harvard and, and Berkeley College, and he's played all over, including Bomberg, Germany. Um, but academics aside, he's, he is a wonderful player. He really has a good time. He's fun to watch, and he's playing with an upright bassist, Zach Page from Asheville also. Uh, so these guys really interact well. This is free concert. It's uh, Sunday, this Sunday, 2 o'clock in the uh, library meeting room. You go in the door, you turn left. I was just talking to you during the break. I didn't even know that there was a grand piano in there, but I think that is going to be a sight to see and some sounds to hear. It is going to be incredible. And as for the festival, all-star lineup, easy to say. Oh, yeah. It's well, exciting. Th thank you so much. We do have all the information for everybody who is looking to attend either the event this weekend or the festival as a whole. Now, the festival is March 21st through March 23rd at the Carnegie Hotel in Johnson City. Thursday is free with four performances from 8 to 10 p.m. And Friday and Saturdays is from 8 to 10. Attend just one evening for $25 or both. For 40, and you could purchase your tickets right now on johnsoncityjazzfestival.com. And of course, he just gave the information for this weekend that you won't want to miss. We'll be right back.